Hi guys, <laughs> I'm covered in dog hair. I was laying on the couch. I'm also covered in flour because I was making bread. But we're headed to my grandparents for dinner tonight and I'm bringing tubbleware, not, okay, it's so windy. That's gonna be terrible. I'm bringing tubbleware, not because of leftovers, because I'm gonna steal moss. <laughs> so I am bringing tubbleware. Her entire lawn is just moss. So I'm gonna go steal some of it and try to see if I can grow my own. Also, she has absolutely no clue that I'm coming to steal her moss, so we'll see how that goes. I'm at my grandma's. You can see this is her yard. You can see right there that bright green patch. That's moss, and then she has a whole bunch and a whole bunch of other different places. So I'm gonna go grab some of that. It's starting to rain. <laughs> They're all watching me while we eat dinner. <laughs> right there. Hi, grandma. She'll see this. Um, but I'm gonna go grab some of that moss. I'm gonna just set up the camera. I don't wanna leave the tripod or my camera out there in the rain. So this is gonna be really quick. I have my container and I have this shovel that my grandmother got me that's ergonomic. So let's, let's get that done. Okay, I've got the moss. I've got way more than I need. Um, I don't know how the moss grows here. My grandparents have actually only been here for a couple years. Let me close the lid on this. I just have this in a glass tubware container and I'm gonna take it home, I'm gonna rinse it, but we're gonna go play some cards with my grandparents right now. Um, they have so much moss left in their yard. They've always had it. They even have it during the summertime. They still have moss. I don't know how. My grandma does not like it. Um, I love it and I'm jealous that she has it. But let me show you guys their fish tanks. They have two of them. You guys can see that fish right there. A lot of you probably don't know this, but some of you do. My grandparents were part of the campfire up in Paradise that happened a few years ago. Um, and this fish right here is one of the fish that survived from their ponds up in Paradise, California. They had like 10 of them, but then they all randomly died. They survived. They went like a month without food up there. The tub that they were in was all melted. It was the craziest thing ever, but we rescued their fish and put them in this trough at our house when they were staying with us. Then they started getting more fish. And now there's only one fish in here. Oh no, there's two fish. There's another one. Um, but then they have this one. This is their smaller tank of fish. So those guys are my favorite. I love coming out here. Look at these guys. You can see how fat they are. They get fed all the time. But look, she's got it surrounded with like palm trees. This is a hooker I bought her last spring, I think. And then her spider plants always look super big. This is like the worst time of year and they're still absolutely massive. She's got this like green one and then a variegated one. And then even her Gerber daisies, just like mine, are starting to bloom. But then you can see there's that fish and that one. This thing had like nine fish in it and that one was the smallest out of all of them. Hi, Grandma. Yeah. Say hi. Okay guys, I'm gonna go in now. We're gonna go play cards. <laughs> They're all spying on me and waiting for me to play cards. Okay guys, so we're back home and I just washed my moss. As you saw, that's step number one after you get it is to rinse it out. You wanna pull out any seeds or weeds that are growing in it. You want this pretty much to just be as much of pure moss as you can possibly get. Next thing is you need a blender, you need a paintbrush, and then you need your buttermilk. So this is just the Sunnyside Farm. This is like the smallest one that they had. I was hoping for like a smaller one, but they didn't have it. So the goal is to get my containers to look like this. This is one that I had bought. This came with a poinsettia in it at Christmas time, and I love the green on it. 
um, the back side, you can see it's starting to like chip and be all peely and it's got the calcium buildup from the minerals that were in the soil. And I love that. So I have three terracotta containers right here and I'm going to kind of try two different approaches at this. I'm going to try it one way with soil in the containers and one with no soil in the containers. Moss likes to be wet. So I think the soil in the container will work better because I'll be able to add moisture to the soil and it'll retain in the terracotta, whereas terracotta wants to take the soil and wick it away. Um, so I think if it doesn't have soil in it, that might not work the best, but I'm gonna try it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take equal parts of our buttercream and equal parts of moss. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put about a cup of moss pretty tightly packed in there. So this is a half cup. So half a cup and then another half a cup. And this is just kind of what we're gonna start out with. It was just about a cup of moss and about a cup of buttercream. There's that. And then two of these. Okay, now that we've got that all mixed together, I'm gonna to put the lid on the blender and pop it on on here. And I'm just going to probably start off with level one. You wanna have this be the consistency of a milkshake, which I think we're about there. That's about what you want it to look like. You can see it's kind of the consistency of a milkshake. Okay, so the next step now is we're just going to take our concoction and we're gonna paint it on. This is the only paintbrush I had, so this is what I'm going to use. We're just gonna go ahead and do kind of a thin layer, still seeing some of the moss on here, and let that take off. You're probably wondering why buttermilk? Um, so buttermilk has all kinds of properties in it that moss needs in order to start regrowing. The biggest one is that it has lactic acid in it, which basically brings the pH down to a proper acidic level that the moss needs. And this is super useful because it helps retain moisture using the buttermilk. And then it also feeds it feeds the moss what it needs with some nutrients that it has in it. Buttermilk has nitrogen, calcium, and magnesium in it, which are all really good foods for moss. The nitrogen from the lactic acid helps feed it and give it the energy that it needs to continue growing. And the calcium that's in the buttermilk, it'll help improve the structure of the cells of the moss, making it grow a little bit faster. And then the magnesium that's in the buttermilk will help it photosynthesize, meaning that it's going to absorb more light and grow even faster and stronger, which is exactly what we want from our buttermilk moss concoction. And I'm just gonna cover this entire thing all the way down to the very bottom. Once I get that done, then I'll move on to this top rim also. So making sure to get everywhere that I really want the moss to grow. has a nice even coating on it. Then we're gonna go through and paint this top area also. I really want this one covered in moss, especially because this one I'm growing without the soil in the container. This would probably go a lot better if I had a larger paintbrush, but this is what I had, so this is what I'm using. So when you buy your buttermilk, you want to make sure that you are buying one that is full fat. You don't want to buy a reduced fat one. It needs all of the nutrients that is in the full fat uh, buttermilk in order to get all of the nutrients that it needs from the magnesium and calcium and all of that. Having the magnesium is super important. That is going to um, really what gives it its kickstart 
moss that is deficient in magnesium is often weak and a little bit smaller to grow. So the container should look something like this when you're done spreading it on there. I know it looks kind of gross, kind of repulsive, but this is what it needs. It'll end up dying back a bit and then it'll totally regrow. And this thing is gonna be chalk covered full of moss. It'll just basically be a giant solid moss container. And then let's move on to the next one. Okay, you wanna zoom out. Perfect. Okay, so for this one, I think I'm going to just do them just like this as they are. I'm gonna leave this one sitting in top, sitting on top of this one. I've already had both of these terracotta pots for maybe a year already. I bought them last spring, um, but I'm gonna see if I can get the moss to grow on them. So same exact thing is just painting it on. And this one, I kind of want it to also fall into the soil a little bit, and I want to see if I can get the moss to grow on the soil. With this project, you should be able to just paint it on any surface, whether it's concrete or a sidewalk, a fence, whatever you want it to grow on, it will take off as long as it stays moist. So I'm going to go in every day and I'll be spraying this down with just a little bit of water in a spray bottle. So this project is one that you really need to have patience for. This is something that can take a week to start growing and it'll be very slow or it could take up to a month to start growing. It all depends on really how well you keep everything nice and moist. So making sure that it's in good conditions where it's not somewhere where it's getting full sun, but it does want some light. These are gonna go next to my grow lights in our seed growing room. And you also wanna make sure that it's somewhere where it's cool, not hot. So I'll make sure that there's no air blowing directly on to this container. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish covering these guys in moss and I'll show you guys what they all look like when they're all done. Okay guys, they're covered in moss and buttermilk. They're kind of gross looking. They don't smell the best. They smell like buttermilk and yogurt. <laughs> um, but they're done. I think that the larger one is gonna be really pretty. Um, the other two are gonna be really, really covered in moss. So let me show you guys what I did on the bigger one. Okay, so on the bigger one, you can see I left lots of spaces and I tried to follow, there was like a natural moisture line. So anywhere that there was already moisture, I tried to just follow that. And you can see like I did some of them from the bottom going up and then left spaces and just kind of like followed it naturally. So that way as it grew, it grew looking more natural instead of like this one that's just gonna be solid green. So it doesn't look just forced. Um, and that one, I think that they'll all be really pretty, but I think that this one is going to look um, the best probably. And then I still have this much left, 
Plus, there is a little bit left in the um, blender and there is so much moss left. So, we'll see how this goes. I will update you guys. It could take a couple of weeks. This one too, I did put a lot of moss around the edge on the inside, hoping that that fills. So that way it kind of looks like it like spilled over the edges a little bit, you know? I think that that'll be really, really pretty. They look horrendous right now. <laughs> Uh, looks like, like, dog vomit on the side of these. But I did see, like, on the areas that I spilled that it kind of dried up, and then it kind of went back to, like, a green color instead of, like, this, like, pukey color. So I think as the buttermilk dries, it'll look a little bit better. I am expecting fully for the moss to turn brown, and then I think that it will, um, after it turns brown, I think that it'll start to come back to life a little bit. So I think this project's just gonna take some time and we'll see how it goes. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, this last little bit right here is not gonna go to waste. I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna go dump it on the soil out there, probably in front of this window. Oh my gosh, you can see those flowers are so bright. They came from our yard. Um, but I'm gonna take this last bit, I'm gonna go dump it on the soil out there and see if that'll grow out there because I love moss.